11th at CES 2021, Sony announced Vision S development activity has reached the next stage. While continuing to advance vehicle development for safety, security, entertainment, and adaptability, public road testing commenced in Austria in December 2020 for technical evaluation. Initially, on a cordoned off test site, but later also in the city and on a country road in the mountains. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to be the first to get a notification on our next video. Sony also mentions a few more technical details about the Vision S. The model receives over-the-air updates and communicates via the 5G cellular standard. The Vision S, which weighs 2,350 kilograms, can accommodate four people. All-wheel drive is set because of the electric motors at the front and rear. The chassis is equipped with air suspension and stands on 21-inch wheels with 245-40 tires at the front and 275-35 at the rear. The length is 4.90 meters, the wheelbase of the electric car is 3.0 meters. Sony specifies the height at 1.45 meters and the width at 1.90 meters. The ground clearance is 120 to 135 millimeters, depending on the air suspension setting. The Concept Study Vision S has all kinds of images and sensors, as well as AI, telecommunications, and cloud technologies from its group. A total of 33 sensors are installed on the outside alone to detect people and objects inside and outside the vehicle, and to offer highly developed driving assistance. There are also cameras instead of exterior mirrors. The assistance level is currently at level 2 plus, but should be expandable to level 4 and more. Overall, the car was built around the infotainment system. According to Yuhei Yabe, project manager for the Vision S and general manager at Sony, the driver and passengers were the focus of development and the question of how best to support and entertain them on the move. The precision of the Vision S can also be seen when we take a seat in the car. Clear surfaces, a pleasant feeling of space, and a comfortable seating position round of the first impression. Sony's approach to venturing into the project with skilled suppliers has had an impact. Because the passengers in the rear also have sufficient leg and headroom without the interior looking random or standard. At Sony, however, special emphasis was placed on the subject of HMI, Human Machine Interface, i.e., the usability of the car. The Japanese are particularly proud of the networking of the three main monitors, which extend over the entire dashboard and are framed on the left and right by the two small screens of the camera exterior mirrors. The development of the infotainment system is almost finished and features razor-sharp LCD touchscreens. No jerking, no twitching, like with a smartphone. This is where the electronics giant clearly shows its strengths. And, the operating logic is also clear. The left monitor provides all relevant information for the driver and, in level 2 mode, offers information such as speed, route instructions, and the like. In the middle monitor, the main menu items are housed in individual columns, which can be opened and expanded by tapping and swiping or even pushed onto other monitors. The function is particularly relevant if the front passenger wants to watch a film while driving without the driver being distracted. This should also be made possible by the sound concept called 360 Reality Audio, which works with speakers embedded in the seats. This should not only create a particularly good surround sound, but also, create the possibility that the passengers can listen to different music or watch films. For this purpose, the rear passengers also have their screens. Besides, the car should always be connected to the internet, also to enable software updates over the air. The four-door hatchback sedan with a large panoramic sunroof is powered by two electric motors, each with an output of 200 kilowatts, the total output is therefore 400 kilowatts 536 PS. The all-wheel drive should sprint from 0 to 104.8 seconds and drive a maximum of 240 km h. The platform should also be able to accommodate other body shapes. Pictures show that the developers have placed a large, flat battery on the floor of the car between the axes of the Sony Vision S. 
However, the Japanese have not yet provided any further information, such as the range of the electric car. It is similar to the general future of the first Sony car. In the past, the electronics group emphasized that it was not interested in producing its car, but that it could imagine working with an established car manufacturer.